There is a new secret model that everybody believes must be from OpenAI because the name says Horizon Alpha. OpenAI has been known for giving this kind of name and in this video I'm going to show you everything that I know about this model and we're going to also test the model and I'm going to show you how you can use the model for free within client. First of all the model name is called Horizon Alpha and I use that model using my client and then I just build this thing like you might like it it's a very simple game it's a tic-tac-toe game uh, it uses local Olama models so it's uh, like an arena mode between two LLMs I get to select the LLM so I just like I'm going to just quickly show you so I've got Gemma three as a one player and I've got um, Cogito okay as one and I can just start it and you can see the LLM one is thinking LLM2 is thinking so this way you can um, see which LLM is good and what kind of reasoning it's a very simple game I wanted to do it I just had to do two prompts one prompt then it did a follow-up that's it the game is live so I'm going to show you this model first of all so if you go to OpenRouter.ai, you can see this model Horizon Alpha being available. The model comes with 256,000 tokens context window, which is honestly huge. I don't think any OpenAI model that is currently in production offers this. I could be wrong. I, I think the maximum that they are currently offering is 128K. And uh, people are also speculating either it is GPT-5 or it is OpenAI's open source model. I think either way, this is a great model, especially for coding. I think the model is amazing. So this is a cloaked model provided to the community to gather feedback. It's free to use during its test period. If you want to use, you can use it with the chat here. And another important thing that you might actually see is that if you go to the rankings of open router, especially like, let's say if you want to see this particular model's usage, you can see this model is being heavily used. Obviously it is free now. It's a, it's a good model. So you can see on uh, client itself, like 2.4 billion tokens have been processed on this open router chat room, 358 million tokens have been processed. So this is your absolutely great opportunity to go use this model. Now about this model, like a lot of reviews are there. I'm just going to go read one review. It's from somebody called Hamza on Twitter. It says, I've been using Horizon Alpha, the likely upcoming open AIS OAS model, like open source model for more than 10 hours and I'm impressed by this model. It definitely is better than almost all reasoning models out there, but not the best. Its front end capabilities are jaw dropping and amazing. So one thing that you would see that if you ever ask any internet um, LLM to design any uh, sort of front end, you would see everything has a very similar structure, but uh, this model has a different flavor. I don't know if it is like a conscious decision that whoever is releasing the model is taken, but you can see even with the, my front end, if you see here, uh, oh, the model is the model is going on a complete tangent. I have got to stop this. I have got to stop this. So I'm going to go and just quickly quit my Olama. Otherwise, otherwise it uh, my computer's fan started running right now. So okay, uh, that's why you need a good model. Okay, I've uh, I've taken a three billion parameter model, old model. It didn't work out. But the point here is that the model's front end capability is really good. So you can see the gradient shades here. I loved it. Next, it uh, it writes creatively and better than most existing models, actually almost perfectly. I did notice that it often explains why numbered bullets, one, two, three, which some may find uh, annoying others helpful. This is another thing that I've noticed with OpenAI. OpenAI on ChatGPT also likes to have a lot of bulleted points and tables, which personally I like. Um, yeah, it really shines at coding problems, writing codes from scratch. The project that I was trying is uh, writing code from scratch. It's strong, a tool use web search research, which matters a lot for a small, some people. It still fails a few iconic tests, like how many hours are there? I'm not even going to ask this question. I am really sorry. It's writing style, accuracy, relevance are impressive. And at times it barely feels like you're talking to an AI. So I've heard like a lot of great things about the model. Even if you go to the comment section, you can see everybody's like praising the model. Somebody's using the model with Rust. Rust is a language that does not have a lot of uh, penetration within LLMs because they don't have a lot of documentation, but still the model is supposed to be uh, good with the uh, rust. So there are a lot of interesting comments about it. I like the model. I like what the model is doing. So I'm going to show you uh, what I did. So I've gone to my visual studio code. I opened Klein and I just um, started with a very simple task. So here, this is how the task looks like. Um, I have local Olama enabled and some models available. I've uh, shared the screenshot of list of models available. I've added the list of available models. I want you to design a browser game where two AI can play 
ए टिक टाक टो गो आई डोट नो वाई गो ओके मे बी गो अगेन्स्ट ईच अदर ई गेट टू सेलेक्ट द मॉडल ए मॉडल बी मेक इट लुक अ बिट मॉडर्न एंड ऑलसो आई शुड नीड अ सर्वर टू रन आई थिंक दिस इज अ मिस्टेक आई डिड हियर ideally i think we need a server to run like there is something called course um initially after i did that it did the job for me it completed the task but unfortunately first time i couldn't run it because the olama course thing required a server to run so it gave me a bunch of options one option that i selected was to ask client itself to create a python server and uh, run the model uh, sorry run the application and it it, uh, it did a pretty good job so you can um, you can see here it uh, decides to uh, simply use a python server and then on top of that run it and it just like simply it ran by itself and then finally i got the final this particular game or whatever the output that it is i am quite happy with the performance of whatever the model has done so i want to show you a live demo um, another thing is like if you want to configure this it's pretty easy you need to go to your um, open router and you need to get your api key create a new api key give a name copy the api key come back here and uh, here if you go here you can just configure client like if you go to the settings click open router um as uh, the api provider and add your key that's it once you do that then the next thing that you have to do is every time you have got a new chat you have to just make sure you got the right model selected in this case open router horizon alpha okay so now what i'm going to do right now is i'm going to just get out of this for a moment just to have a very simple example live for you to see to create a new directory uh, i'm going to call it boring landing i know a lot of you hate if i create a landing page but uh, maybe maybe yeah, instead of doing landing let's say boring brick game space boring space shooters okay so we're going to do boring space shooters and i'm going to enter into boring space shooters and i'm going to open another visual studio code just to keep it clean so i want to just go to client here and then say um what do i want to say i want to cre create a modern looking space shooters game make it as modern as possible and i don't know anything else you want to add um have scores restart the basic game things um i don't need supposedly a server to run this i am not even mentioning the stack so i've given this command uh, this prompt and you can see here okay it's deciding to do something on html css javascript and it is starting to work i think the model is also fast uh, client uses complex okay uh, iterative challenge equal less capable models i'm surprised it says it's less capable okay let's see proceed anyways okay uh, the, the model is not less capable it's got a good tool usage i think this is just general client warning and you can see here um it already created a page a save the page and uh, it is going to go ahead and then create the css and javascript and as you can see here this is like real time that you are seeing i think the model is extremely fast that is also one reason i believe this could be like a light um i don't think this is an open source model i could be wrong or this could be the open source model like everybody is speculating but i don't i'm not sure if open ai is going to open source a large language model with 256000 context window um which seems not very open ai -ish. um so i believe maybe this could be like a lighter version uh, like a gemini flash light but open ai is gemini flash light equivalent um because the 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 request is quite fast like you can see it, it, it's super fast um if you want to compare it you can use it with some kind of cloud model and then see how the speed compares but uh, for now this is amazing so once this runs we're going to test the model if the model um, if the code doesn't work also i have to put this in the video so uh, on behalf of horizon alpha i would like to apologize before and also another matter of fact is that there is one more cli that has come come out called crash so if you want to use the model you can also use it with crush i think it's pretty easy and straightforward so you can see here crush is there this is a very new cli like uh, gemini uh, cloud code gemini code and all the clis so it it has already processed 103 million tokens of this particular model on crush so that is something that you can try um if you want to do so this is still i think i praised this model a little too much but it has written a lot of lines of code probably what 
um, 600 lines of code if you just use only javascript logic okay i've saved it uh, let's see if it wants to create anything more so we have got like a very simple comment modern space shooter no build single folder project um, features high dpa response and all those things okay it says can i run the command yeah do the honors it looks modern um i think the css element is a bit here and there wonky donkey there is a sound on i don't i don't think the sound is going to work but let's see the sound is working but uh, i i don't know how do, how does the sound work okay i'm going to go to home how do i shoot this space or z oh my goodness it's nice i mean i'm a terrible gamer but i think did i kill at least one? oh my goodness i couldn't kill a single thing uh i'm a terrible gamer but the point is the model is amazing the model is good and this is your opportunity to also use the model for free so don't miss the opportunity go use the model let me know what you think if you think this is an open ai's open source model then it is an absolutely great news for the entire world but if it is not, we'll wait for the model and then see what model it is. See you in another video. Happy prompting.